Uh... Alright guys, we are 97 diamond on the Reaper. This is going to be my attempt at getting into Master. Okay, this is going to be my attempt. We're going to be rocking... Well, the plan is to rock an unhealing build. Depending on the items we get, we might go Cauldron unhealing or we might go Infinite Heat Generation unhealing. Um, that's what I've been rocking to get all the way up to 97 Diamond. So that's the plan and hopefully it works and we're starting the game off kind of rough i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie um so i got two options here right i could stall the first round and just hope for a better shop situation the second round or i could just re-roll a bunch of times here so if i if i if i go with the stalling situation it will instantly just to bite his pan now a lot of people say you should go shovel i don't like going shovel because it's a bad dps weapon even though you get the economy from it I just don't like going shovel, uh, but what I could do is just buy this pan and get like a garlic and a banana and that should win me the first round or it, it, like get close, right? And then I could just sell the pan and get me, a, you know, the regular weapons that I want, right? Which isn't a bad play, which I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to buy... We only got 12 gold. I hate having 12 gold. We're going to buy the pan. I kind of also want to get this customer card because this can help me get the mana orb that I need along with the demonic flask, uh, <laughs> which is clutchy. I'm gonna buy both of these. Okay, give me something good on the shop. Okay, this was a good shop. Actually, genuinely, it gave us both the items we need. <laughs> so yeah, we're buying both of these. Like I say, we're gonna go with the pan with the triple food. Um, reserving a wooden sword because that's what the shiny shell is for. And hopefully we can get ourselves a some space in a broom next round. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up. So boom, boom, and then boom. And then uh, that can go there and that can go there. Okay. Now let's see if we win with a full decked out, semi full decked out pan situation here. Hopefully we do. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Berserker mode already activated. That's a good sign. Three health left over and that's a, a we missed, but that's still a W because of poison. Awesome. Uh, not the best in the world. I'll take this roll. Come on game. Come on game. Okay, hold up. Um... Here's what we're going to have to do if we want to win, I think. I think I might have to sell this customer card. Cause we need we need blueberries. We're buying this regardless. Getting a health potion on sale this early, phenomenal. The only issue is we don't have space for both of these, which means we might have to buy the fanny pack, which is seven gold. We only have five. So we have to sell the customer card. I'm pretty sure because we need these two and I'm not selling the food because it helps with pan um, and we need the space and everything. So yeah, we're gonna have to sell the customer card. And we're just gonna buy all three of these. Didn't want to do that, but kind of just had to. And there's gotta be a better situation I can do here food wise. That works, awesome. And then that can go there and that can go there. Okay, hopefully next shop is the shop we need because we're getting, we need to shell totem. Okay, the shell totem wins us games. We might even lose this one. Cause he's got a stone badge. He doesn't have any stamina though. If we can survive past his stamina peak, past his reaper bursting, cause I don't like reapers. Not reapers, rangers. I don't like burst builds. I don't like them. But past his like bursty stamina e situation, already proc that health potion by the way, which is insane. But we should win. I mean, he's at he's at that point. Poison's at five. He's out of stamina on his weapons. If it, if it wasn't for this health potion, we would have lost. I, I believe we would have lost if it wasn't for that health potion. Got another one on sale. I, I need the W key that broom though. Okay, awesome. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Buying this, buying this. And I'm gonna put this down. See if I could do a little setup situation here with the items that we have. Um, I'm thinking this. That's looking pretty solid. Actually, no, it's not. Well, it can. Okay, now it's looking pretty solid. Sell that. Give me this. And yeah, we'll roll with this. We're gonna roll with this. <laughs> we should lose this one though because we don't have a shell totem um he's also got healing herb regeneration which is pretty solid early having that two regeneration can definitely save you some games unless oh we have better activators though damn we got nine poison on him see shovel being a... my, my golly on round four on round four, you're giving me a mana orb on sale, not to mention this healing herb. I'm looking at this goober because if you're going to go cauldron build, then I need to get the king goober. Getting a goober early is good, especially since we already got a health potion. 
If I get two health potions, cauldron build. If I don't, then infinite heat build. But then again, I need toads for that. So if I get my toads early, then it's definitely hit infinite heat. But I'm feeling a little bit confident. I think we're going to run into this Gubert again, so I'm gonna pass on it for now. Get this space on sale. Honestly, bro, I'm looking at this leather armor on sale right now and it's looking scrumptious, I'm not gonna lie. It's looking pretty scrumptious. Pretty scrumptious, but I don't think I get it. It's gonna take up too much space. We're already slacking on space, to be honest. Yeah, I think I, I think I pass on that. Um, I'm gonna buy this stone though, and I'm gonna reserve this banana. I always like rocking two bananas, no matter what. No matter what on, on Reaper, I like rocking two bananas and two weapons, or just, you know, broom, shell totem. I just need two staminas, honestly. But honestly, with shell totem, you might not, because when you're going to get somebody with a shield, instead of having two, you know, well, we're not going to get somebody with a shield right now, and look at our stamina usage. See, my broom is out of stamina right there. Yeah, we didn't know. Scratch what I was about to say. No matter what, you need two bananas. <laughs> you need two of them, just in case. So boom, give me that, give me this. Eight gold, let me roll. Space is solid. It's round five though. So, hmm. I'm about to make some sorts of decisions here soon-ish. Let's see here, let's see, let's see, let's see. Cause we need Toad. The earlier we get Toad, the better and it's round five which means round six and seven we need to find that toad we got lucky with this guy honestly we got super lucky with this guy but we need to find toad so what i think i'm gonna do here is i think i'm just gonna buy this deck of cards because we need this to, for the heat uh the, the halo dragon we need that we need that card right and plus getting the two clovers at the beginning of the game helps a lot but yeah we get that and i'm probably just gonna sell this pocket sand and this stone in order to purchase the uh this guy. I don't know which one is better here. Probably this. It's probably better. But yeah, boom. This is looking pretty solid. We need better mana generation though. Um. Yeah, this doesn't this doesn't scare me. We should win. Spike shield means nothing to us because we have range weapons. Oh, it's so beautiful having range weapons versus spike shield. So beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is this is this is starting to be a really really good game for us. Oh. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, this is starting to be a really, really, really good game for us. Okay. I'm gonna keep the deck of cards in. Usually I like to just take this out because I don't really need it, need it right now, but I'm gonna keep it in because we don't have any heat. We need something that gives us heat at the start of the game, so, which is going to be the lamp or the fire card. So we're gonna keep it in and just look for the lamp or the fire card, but honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this thing back because we kind of need it. And we're gonna move this guy here. Uh. You know what I could do? I could just tilt you and do this. It's probably a better situation, realistically. Yeah, that looks good. All right, round six, we need we need a second toe would be fire. But yeah, we need this guy. We need that lamp. Just so we can get the heat at the beginning of the game. Because that's going to be super duper, extremely essential. Do we lose this? He's got infinite DPS scaling with his lamp. I mean, so do we, but our mana generation is nothing. But then again, that four empowerment plus the uh, the little bit of mana generation that we do have seems to be helping a lot. Not to mention our survivability is pretty solid too. Ooh, more mana generation. I will take that. Roll. Do I take this? You know what? Yeah, let's take it. That's going to be the last one we buy. Potentially. Roll. Oh, on sale is crazy. On sale is crazy. I want it. Not going to lie, I want it. What am I willing to sacrifice for it, though, is the question. I say Flying Arlick, because we don't need this. Poison is not our main DPS. At all. So, realistically, we don't need you. And I think I'd rather just get a hard container on sale, right? Like, that's a good that's a good deal. Even though we really don't need the regeneration. I mean, I guess it could be nice to have the, the um, increase in the healing. You know what I mean? So... Uh, yeah, I'm selling you buying this and then putting that. Honestly, I think this will probably be better. And then that is better too. And I'm not combining that because I'm just going to sell both of those eventually. <laughs> okay, let's see what goes on here. That heart container should help us out a lot, especially if we get at the proc. I doubt we'll get at the proc. Highly doubt. It's not fast enough, Uh, but 
But yeah, he's out of stamina now. Now it's our time to shine, especially since we got that other blueberry. Berserkamo is going to be a thing, though, so we'll see what happens here. Ooh, insta proking. Yeah, that's, that's game. That's game. That's game. Not insta proking, but yeah, that's game. Proking now is just game. All right. Give me you. Give me head. Talk. Give me a giraffe. No giraffe. I mean, that's fine, though. We also don't have heat. Ah. We're lacking some things. We're lacking some things. We're lacking some things. We're lacking some things. Um. Also, this wasn't like. Well, no, I just got that. Um. Not a good shop. We have we have health. We're going to lose this next game, and we might lose the next three games in a row. I want you guys to know that. Okay, we might actually lose the next three games in a row. Okay, we don't have to worry about spikes, which is good. Really, really good. Range weapon for the, for the win. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Nah, the armor. The armor, bro. Yeah, that's game. Okay, yeah. Lose that one. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. We need space. I do want this, but we have better... We have bigger, way bigger concerns right now. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. What do we do here? I say we buy both of them. I say we buy the ruby egg and we buy the giraffe. Giraffe is going to be what we need for the infinite heat. And this gives us heat at the start of the game. Usually I don't go with ruby egg because it costs so much. But since it's on sale, we kind of want that, right? The only issue is we need a lot of money, which I mean, we could just sell the shell totem and probably sell the health potion. Cause this helps me prox this. Yeah, that too helps a lot. That's whole, that's a whole six seconds I don't have to worry about. So <laughs> yeah, we're keeping that. Um, but yeah, this sells for three. This sells for two, which means we need one more thing, which is probably just gonna be a garlic realistically. Okay, cool, awesome. So let's put you there. You can go here. This goes here. This I kind of want to keep it up there a little bit, but. Actually, I could just put it there. That'll work for me. Um, we can tilt you so that this can go up there. And I'm just gonna put you up there. That can go there. And then the rest is just gonna be trying to min-max this food situation somehow. Um, so we can do boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Okay, this is looking pretty decent. This should generate us infinite heat, which is essential. <laughs> Highly essential for our build. Highly. Really weird build he's got going on. Yeah, we're getting infinite heat, which is beautiful. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. In, uh, proccing that heart container should happen right about now, and that should solidify us the W. 100%. 100%. 28 damage, 20 damage, 29, and game. Good game. I don't want anything here. Uh, roll. Hmm. Thinking about it. I am thinking about it. Uh. I do love my Mr. Struggles, but I need, I need to find that potion. I need to find that potion ASAP. I cannot explain how ASAP ASAP needs to be right now. Like we need to find that potion. And I th think I'm gonna put you. Um, I think I'd rather use you as an activator. Just do something like that. Don't really know how I want this situation to be yet, but I'm gonna roll. Okay, another toad is crazy. It's actually really, really good. We'll be fine with just two toads. So it's a good thing we found that for sure. Especially for the mana generation too. Mm. That'll probably be better. I think I wanna do something like this. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to make the blueberries as fast as possible, uh, in a way. I mean, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, cool. That'll work. <laughs> what are we going against? He ice build, but his weapons is kind of buns. Oh, he's got the he's got the uh, rainbow badge. That's why I'm like, what the heck? How the hell did you get a toad? 
Okay, we should win this one. Anytime I see someone with a rainbow badge, usually they lose. <laughs> because there's so many item options you have, you can't really make a build. You know? Alright, got you to proc or open, so there's that. But we still need the, the, the Halo Dragon card. I don't really... I need, you know... I need Giraffe. I need this. I can't. I can't. Usually I would and I want, but I can't. I, I gotta buy this one. Okay, brother. This makes things interesting. <laughs> um, because I want all three of these and I can't pass up on a giraffe. I can't pass up on a giraffe. I can't pass up on a toad. And we damn sure can't pass up on a blueberry. So we're just going to keep all of them. All, all of them are going to be kept in our arsenal. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna move this over here, I think. That way we just have this space here. Honestly, I'm about to sell this, uh, garlic. Yeah, let's sell the garlic, just so we can buy that. That's a better play. Um, and we're getting 13 gold next round. That's gonna be 13 gold right there. We'll have enough space, right? Realistically, we'll have enough space, I think. And it'd be really good if we win this. Really, really good. We just don't have the un. I would at like at this point, I need that unhealing staff. Cause right now we have like no survivability. I mean, we do, like we do, but at the same time, we kind of don't. Thank you, bro. Okay. Okay, this is marvelous. This is absolutely marvelous. Okay, we buy that and priority says buy Misfortune. So, we don't need you anymore. So we're just gonna buy Misfortune. And Misfortune is gonna go right there. Right there, we're gonna move you down, put you there, put that there, put this here. I thought that was gonna work on both of them, but it's not. Uh, oh, well, that's fine. And um, we can um, do something. Or you know what we could do? We could just do this, put that there. And then, um, do that. And this can go here. That way it's on both of those. Move uh, the entire board over by one. And that way we can put our food situation right in this corner. Like that. That's looking way better. Way, 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 way better. What are we going against? Rapier Pandanomium? I, am I not in the sauce? Cause like, what kind of build is this? Watch we lose to it though. Man, that hard container was the best purchase of my life, bro. <laughs> like, the, the game is tied until that thing procs, and it's like, oh, yep, you're done. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, we need space. Give me space. Yes. Yes, now that we have this build, it's time for us to transition into survivability, which means every single Capra Resilience we're going to buy and every single Mr. Struggles we're going to buy. And I do want to turn this into a big boy dragon. I just haven't seen the card. It's a little bit unfortunate, um, but yeah. And we should probably change this situation, like move this up here and that way that guy can go there. It's a little bit better. Um, I just don't know where to put these two now. Well, then again, I got this free spot, so we could do uh, that, that, and this can just go anywhere it wants. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Surprise, we got this far with no mana orb. Ooh, dragon build. Not to mention a uh, cap. The unhealing is going to be pretty bad for us. But at the same time, we're destroying their buffs, right? So, <laughs> like, yeah. That, yeah, us destroying their buffs helps us out with survivability. And no, we're not buying you. But yeah, that helps us out with our survivability. Because the less buffs they have, the less they can do. Same thing with us. So we gotta keep that in mind too. So somebody could really fuck us over too. That's why we should probably get that card <laughs> for the heat. If we start a battle with no heat and get infinite mana instead of infinite heat, we're fucked. But the only way that happens is if we go against, like, a build that just destroys buffs. Oh, I hate this build. It's a freaking burst build. Ah, uh, oh! That was a great game. We were supposed to lose there. We lose this without hard container. Oh my gosh. That 90 maximum health? 
Where was that at? We lose this game without Heart Container, bro. Absolutely lose it. Right there. Look at that. We got down to 42. 42 health. 39. Got down to 39 health and then Heart Container procs and uh, bumps us right back up to 147. Bro, 100% chance we lose that without Heart Container procing there. 100% chance. Wow. That was extremely close. Really good game. Man, I love you, Heart Container. I might actually turn you into a dark heart container. I forgot what that thing does, though. Another one? How many do we have? Four? She, like I said, we buy everyone we see. I'm buying you two. Should I get rid of something here to buy you now? I don't want to get rid of a healing herb. I feel like it helps out with the heart container. Oh, man. I'll just buy you next round. Oh, I'm so glad I made those decisions. <laughs> Those were some good decisions to be made. Can I do that? Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can. I'll just do something like this. Yeah, that'll work. Get some space while I'm at it. All right, what are we going against? Oh, buddy! Unhealing build versus unhealing build. Damn, you got rubies out the ass. Okay, and you got 30% reduced in healing on me, bro? Come on, why are you doing that to me? He's got 25, 45, 60, 70% increase in healing, not to mention these are, uh, what is it, 50% increase? I'm not doing that math. And then he's also got this for the 8%, and then he's got this for another 15%. And he's getting, he's getting double capital discomforts. I don't know who wins here. No, I do know who wins here, me. You know why we win here? Mr. Struggles, because we're, we're taking away all of his buffs, which means he's not gonna have any mana to even activate his staff of unhealing. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. It doesn't even matter how much unhealing you have or how much amplified healing you have if you can't even activate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, the activation is over now. The activation is over, so all your healing that you're doing is no longer going to be damaged. And because of that, we win. Because of that, we win. Even though you're still going to be healing like a shit ton. Look at that, 60, 40. And you're still doing damage to us because you activated. How are you activating that? Where's my stamina? Hold up. Hold up. Don't activate the crown. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. This is going to be a long battle. This is going to be a really long battle. I'm going to have to just depend on my giraffes, realistically, to, like, keep me alive here. Hey, heart container proc is pretty nasty, too. Yeah, this is going to be a really long battle. This is going to be a really, really long battle. Healing for 60 and then a 40, bro. That King Gubert is no joke. Yeah, but we win. Like I said... Taking away his buffs equals pretty much a W for us. <laughs> that is insane, though. If this cauldron was a little bit faster, you might have been able to do something, my friend. Good game, though. Good freaking game. From one unhealed build lover to another, you did well. Ooh, a mana orb. That's kind of something I need, no? I'm going to put you right there, and this can just go right. Actually, I could just do that. Well, now that I realize it, we're missing a whole giraffe. What the heck? Yeah, we're missing a whole giraffe. We should probably try to get one. Or something. <laughs> I did not realize we were missing a entire giraffe on our board. Where do I want to put this? Here? 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 Ooh, actually right there is actually good. Hold up. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. Uh-oh. Oh no, this is bad. This is really, really bad. We're not generating infinite. Yeah, we're fucked. Unless we kill them. We're not generating infinite heat though, which is the bad part. <laughs> That's the bad part. I don't know how we won without infinite heat. We just did that much healing. We just did that much healing. <laughs> Even without infinite heat is insane. Ooh. Not you giving me this at the end of the game. Even with only two giraffe, we did pretty damn good. I'm definitely picking this up, by the way. Just to put it on my ruby chunk. Definitely. And I should probably also pick you up, too. Just trying to figure out my spacicles. My spacicles. We'll do that. Um, I'll buy you and we'll buy that next round. And that should be game. That should be game, especially with Tim on the board. Just give me all your buffs. Wait, what does Tim do inside armor slot? Chance to resist debuffs or critical hits. That's actually not bad, to be fair. It doesn't apply to us, though, because, like, 
yeah, we don't crit you. And we also don't put debuffs on you. So we're straight. <laughs> we're good. We should beat this guy too, just because buffs. That's why I love this build. Okay, you get no buffs. No buffs. You're never proccing this heart. You already proc that one, insta proc it because of this guy. But other than that, you're never getting that other heart proc. The only thing you have on us is probably just infinite DPS because we're not going to be able to take away all that mana. So your mana torch is still going to be able to do something. But, you know, other than that, yeah. <laughs> that should be game, brother. Brother. Definitely game. Good game. Good freaking game. This entire time, I think we only lost twice, which is nutty. All right, we're buying this and we're buying that and that should be everything. I'm gonna put you here, I think. See if we can make sense of it all. Um, That goes there and this can just go up there. Oh wow, finally. The very last minute, you wanna give me another giraffe? Can I even buy that, bro? I need to sell something worth four gold. I mean, I can get rid of the heart container and a banana. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Heart container, not heart container, but yeah what you call it but yeah that entire another misfortune is just so much more damage so much more damage for us the only thing we gotta worry about is stamina that's why i kind of wanted to keep both bananas either that or you get a rabbit we just didn't have either or we didn't have the rabbit so you know whoa what is this was this hold up pause infinite vampirism that's what it looks like he's also destroying our buffs too Ooh, as long as we get infinite heat we should beat this guy no the thing is is getting the infinite heat, you know what I mean? As long as we start that cycle, we should be fine. But we're, we're pretty much destroying each other's buffs, essentially. He's got infinite DPS scaling because of his oil lamp, though. We'll see what happens here. Okay, we got 11. 11, uh, hey. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> we're fine. So, no matter what, regardless of how many misfortunes he has, we should definitely be able to just...